Oh baby. Oh baby, it's a baby. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I just wanted to announce to the world and Madison wanted to announce to the world that we's having a baby. And we's a how far along are we? Eight weeks. Yeah, we's eight weeks. Well, they guesstimated at eight weeks. We won't know until we see that fancy abbreviated doctor. Well, what's it called again? OBGYN. Yeah, one of those OB doctors. You know that sounds gangster, right? Oh it does. It sounds, you know, I, I just picture somewhere in the world there's like a street gang called the OBGYNs. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, we even picked out some cool names, too. Yeah. We might release those at a later date. We don't want no one to steal our name ideas. <laughs> but anyways, even though I don't, even though to me I really wouldn't care if anyone would or not, but I think it's really grooving the names we picked out. So when it gets super, super uber close, then we're gonna let you know. But they say it's supposed to arrive in September, and and, and we got our first uh, fancy doctor's appointment there next month, and and. And we're all groovy and excited. With that being said, I also like to say to all you young men out there, to all you young women out there, birth control is a load of crap. That's all I got to say. But with that being said, I'm so excited. I'm going to be a daddy. And she's going to be a little mama. That's right. And, um, and, and also, um, uh, well, how do you feel about this? Happy. She happy. But at the same time, I ain't gonna lie, we're both scared out of our minds. <laughs> I'm scared this poor child's gonna have my ugly looks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, be cool if I can't pop out into this world with my laugh. But then with my luck, somebody would think we had the Joker. So, so, uh, so, so, honey, t tell them all what you think. I don't know. Uh, I don't know, babe. Well, I can tell you one thing. She, she don't like the, the morning sickness stuff. <laughs> I think that's going to help me lose weight, too, because nine times out of ten, right before I get ready to eat, yeah, it happens, and it takes me a while to eat afterwards. But you know what, though, it's a team thing, and every time she gets sick, I gotta look. I, I can't help but to look at her, and be like, "Honey, I'm so excited and glad we're going to have a baby, but I am so sorry for the symptoms." <laughs> and we keep telling each other, "It's a conglomeration of the both of us." <laughs> oh boy! And I'll tell you something else too. In some ways, it couldn't have happened at a much better time to a certain degree because, well, we both made full time. That's going to be a big plus. A very big plus. You want to know something that I experienced in the doctor's office, though? You know, they got all of her some information and everything. And then this person turned... What's that person called? Uh, I don't know what she's called. She's... The doctor's, like, assistant or something. I don't know. They, they was her understudy to be a, to be a doctor themselves. They turned to me and said, and you? And I'm like, name her age. And she just looked at me like I was stupid. And then Madison said, he's the daddy. Mm -hmm. And she goes, oh. And then turns right back around. I'm listening to her thinking, you don't even want to know my name? <laughs> okay. I guess I ain't nothing. I done made my contribution. I'll just walk out the door. <laughs> <laughs> and then her mom was joking with me and, and said, said, well, you know, this is the time where it's all about her and the baby. I said, I get that. But I said, it just seemed a little rude. And then, guys, if, I, I'm just going to tell you right now. Go to Facebook. Either, it, you want them to know your Facebook? I don't care. Well, tell them what your Facebook is. Madison Barr. Either look her up on Facebook or go to my Facebook, as which is under the name Alexandria Cartman and then Sun Arrow. Just like that, and check out our post from when her parents and my mom met, and and we told my mom the great news. If y'all just want to know the look and expression on Mama's face, just go look at that picture, and 
y'all would just be so ecstatic just to see the look on Mama's face. I I tell you what, I, you know that look a person gets on their face when they get the wind knocked out of them. Well, that's the look my mom had. What because this this is what happened, okay? First, my mom took a look at me and she goes, "Son, you need to get your weight under control. You're going to have a heart attack." And I said, "I know, mom. I'm working on that." And and guys, I am. But I said, "Mom, let me see your hand." She put her hand in my hand, and I looked at her and I said. Well, Grandma, it's going to be here in September. She got this look on her face like like the wind just been knocked out of her. I thought she was going to have to take a, a breathing treatment. And all of a sudden, she jolts and she goes, I'm going to be a grandmother! Oh, yeah. I wish I could have got it filmed for y'all. Y'all would have just... I think that would have went viral, that video would have. All right, guys. Well... I like to say thank you to all the old fans. Thank you to all the new fans. We love each and every single one of you. And I also like to say, I also have some two things special too. For all you prayer warriors out there that pray, my sister lives the alternative lifestyle, if you know what I mean. And her significant other is in the hospital right now, and and she had CO2 poisoning and a few other things and I just like to ask if y'all could pray for her that for that she get well because my sister's excited about being an aunt and in between this good news and the slowly improving of her significant other's health is probably what's keeping her going so please say a special prayer for her and keep us in your prayers and wherever y'all at in this world may God bless until next time. Oh, baby. I can't. It's a baby.